so sad. Then why would I be sad when I have you here? I wonder how strange looking this house is. Some of the rooms are surprisingly beautiful. Yeah. Not this one. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm with you. It's been like it. Yeah, a lot of people are turned off by my house. They think it's really gloomy and forbidding. I like it. I like the stillness and isolation. You know, we could just stay here indefinitely. <laughs> Walk through the gardens and make love in every single room of the oh. house. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You might change your mind in a couple of months because this house gets cold in winter. Yeah? Well, yeah. Then we'll just have to light a roaring fire. Then when the snow does fall, we'll have snowball fights. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you like my house, but at the same time, you know, I don't, I don't want us to hide out here, okay? And you and I have every right to be together, whether it be here or in public or, or wherever. In fact, I think we should start right now. What do you suggest? You know, let's let's just go to dinner somewhere, go eat somewhere or something. Do you want to go eat somewhere, or do you want to prove a point? We're both. I mean, we both live in this town. We can't hide out here like like fugitives. You know? like I, I'm sorry the way things end with Emily, but I am not ashamed to be with you. Oh, it means a lot to hear you say that. Doesn't I mean, I know that I don't have anything to be ashamed of, but it's still awkward going places together. I know, but the only solution to that is to keep going out until it's not awkward anymore. Okay, so I'm here. Okay. It's just, we'll go to Kelly's and we'll get something to eat. People will get used to seeing us together. Meet again. How you doing? Fine. You know, I um, still have time to go to a baseball game if you're still interested. No, thank you. Okay. Well, um, offer stands if you feel like calling me. Just change your mind, okay? I want to go to a baseball game. I want Emily to take me. Michael, Michael, listen, listen, no, listen, Michael Courtney's still your own. You, know, you, sh you shouldn't talk to her like that. I think you should apologize. You don't tell me what to do. You're not my uncle. You're the jerk who cheated on Emily, and you're the jerk for dating him. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, no, you, know, you know what? He's just parroting what he hears at home. You know, obviously Sonny is painting Courtney as a home record, and it's not fair. And it needs to stop. Judge Courtney, much less poison her relationship with Michael. I mean, if he has a problem with us, then he needs to say that to my face. Nicholas, you have no idea the strain the son has been under. Trying to care for Carly and two kids and hold together a business that's spiraling out of control. He doesn't have time to deal with Courtney's hurt feelings or yours. So I'll speak uh, to Michael and I'll explain to him again that this is an adult situation, that people fall in and out of love and that it's no one's fault. I know he loves Courtney, and I'm sure that he'll come around eventually. I'm sorry. I probably should have handled that differently. Okay. Thank you. You misunderstood me earlier when I was talking about us being together at your house this winter. I wasn't planning on moving in, you know. I, I wasn't even anticipating that we would be together months from now. Well, why wouldn't we be? Because you still love Emily. Why, Nicholas, you wish you would have stayed together. You wish you would have stayed committed to your marriage. You're wrong. Look, I know that there were problems, and maybe they were insurmountable. But you'll never know that now. 
because you had a weak moment and you you lied to her about going to New York instead of the Bahamas and then you we had another weak moment and Emily walked in it, it, it was an artificial breaking point I mean, instead of you guys leaving each other or, or staying together and, and working on things I disagree look, I'm not imagining the look on your face when, when you see Emily no, I mean, it, it's a look of longing and, and regret and look, maybe you just you just gave up a little too soon and you're sorry and that, that's okay. It is. Really, I mean, I don't, I don't want you to feel obligated to be with me. You don't have to be with me. Uh, but Jax and I, we would have never been happy. You know, and if I hadn't gotten involved with you, well then we might still be together. Even starting to raise the baby. But eventually, the marriage would have fallen apart, okay? And, and it would have been even more painful, especially for the child. So, look, I'm, I'm better off, Nicholas, but it's different for you. Uh, listen, it's, it's true, okay? Emily, Emily's a better person than Jax. But our marriage was not working long before you. Okay. Yeah, yes, I, I wish that it would have ended differently. Yes, I wish I would have acted better than I did. But our, our breakup has been coming for months, and it's final. Emily and I really are over. Okay, even if you can't go back to Emily, I don't want you staying with me because, because you're afraid of hurting my feelings. Okay, look, look, look I, I have a great life, Nicholas. I do. And I am fully prepared to be alone. I am. And, and maybe... Maybe it would, it would be better if we just ended things now. No, look, we have You don't get it. You're not going anywhere. General Hospital. I feel like obligation to you. Oh, Kevin. Could you forgive me? For what? I think this whole joint custody is a bad idea. I'm not real clear how someone asks a friend to do the things I did for you.